Hey, what's up? So I kind of messed up my arm at work doing uh, some manly carpenting. But the good thing about that is that now I actually have time to make a new video for YouTube. Yesterday I was going through some uh, comments on uh, my older videos and I could see it. there are a couple of people asking if I can do some more videos on right hand technique and that suits me fine since the left arm is currently out of order and the truth is I kind of suck at left hand guitar technique so uh, now I have a chance to say that if I didn't have tendonitis in my left arm I of course would have played some Dream Theater and Steve Vai licks but due to the circumstances I, I can't do it right now but of course I could easily do it in my sleep. So let's get into some riffing technique stuff. In my previous videos I mentioned the importance of analyzing what you are doing instead of just playing for hours and days and weeks and months and years and not really thinking, just sitting there asking yourself why am I not seeing any progress here but like I said if you just stop and analyze a little bit ask what am I doing that isn't really working here today I'm actually gonna talk about how I have changed my picking style before I think I, I used to hold it kind of like this between these two fingers uh, with a slight angle this way so it's hitting the strings like this instead of being just 90 degrees I noticed there's this new trend that basically everyone's holding their pick more like this so I wanted to test out this technique so I kind of delved into that and uh, I found that it kind of works. There are some benefits to this technique. However, it only works for me in certain types of riffs. So what I found is if I'm playing fast on one string, before I would have done something like this. And as you can see, when I'm doing that, my whole hand is kind of going like this uh, in a whipping motion but what I didn't really think about before is the fact that I'm using more of my hand than I really have to do this means that my arm kind of has to work harder because it, it has to move all of this up and down and you kind of get fatigued pretty fast but when I applied this technique as opposed to you can see there's a slight difference so this is the way I used to play and this is the way I'm playing now so by changing my picking technique to this, there's a little bit less stress and work for the rest of my arm. I find that I can play faster and for a longer period of time after I change the picking hand technique from this to this. And what you need to be careful about is not touching the string with your rotting flesh of death. Uh, from the from your thumb here also from the rest of your hand because everything is kind of closer to the strings now so it's it's you can easily touch with your your flesh instead of this technique when the, the rest of the hand is pretty far away from the strings however if I'm doing bigger chords I find my older technique suits me better because I have more control of the strings. It's easier to hit everything. This 
of course just makes sense because you get more of that whipping motion to a more whipping motion um, way of playing. So it's if I'm playing like two strings, one string, this technique is good. Playing all strings, this technique is good. It's hard to get a whipping motion when you're playing like this. Another thing I noticed when trying to uh, not trying to, when I nailed all the guitar solos of Dream Theater and Steve Vai and all those guys, I find that if you want to play fast, basically speed picking, you don't want your pick to adapt to the strings. You want it to be in one position all the time, so you can easily just go up and down the strings. You just get a lot more control of what you're doing. And this is when this technique comes into the picture. So these are my how to hold your pick tips, tricks. If you want to play fast and for a long time on one or two, maybe three strings, I recommend holding your pick like this. If you're playing on more strings, I recommend holding your pick like this, with this kind of motion. So, thanks for watching. Bye.